Want to transform your flat colors into more lifelike shading? Then follow this video. Download color palette and sketch. Check out the links in description below. And also favorite these brushes and blenders cause you don't have to search for these brushes every time when you start working. Let's get started. First of all, change background color using first color in color palette. Then color hair and high neck using solid fill on separate layer and outline these parts of face using concept pencil and also individual strands of hair. After it, add another layer and arrange it below all layers and then select color for skin and fill color on this layer. Boom! Then add another layer. Now from brushes, select soft air brush from sprayers folder. Now let's come to face shading part. Set bigger size of soft air brush and then add blush to cheeks and these parts of face so that it kind of looks like flashy. Next erase extra blush outside of the face. Next I'm removing blush from cheeks, erasing it in a V shape so that it follows natural plane of cheeks. Also I'm erasing it from lower side of eyes. Now go to blender and select hard charcoal blender. Adjust this setting and make sure that sample layer toggle is off. Adjust its size and keep it bigger. Now let's blend the blush to create a healthy rosy appearance while keeping the contours of cheeks inside. Don't mess up with blending, just be mindful of the cheeks structure and shape. Now select an eraser and erase extra blush from chin and also blend it. So first we are done with adding blush. Now select darker color and add this color to dark areas of air using solid fill. And also to lower lip. Now using soft air brush, add the same color to the tip of nose. Blend this color and make it a little bit lighter and smudge it in an upward direction following the shape of nose. Now make this color slightly darker and then using solid fill, fill this color in upper lip. As you all know that upper lip is slightly darker than lower lip. Now select color for eyes and fill this lighter color in eyes. Now using a small size of soft air brush, select darker color and then shape up your eyebrows. For sharp edges, you may use eraser. Now go to blender and select mostly water from watercolor folder. Adjust size according to your requirement and then blend initial parts of eyebrows. Then select concept pencil from pencils folder. Draw thin hairs on blended area. Now using dark color, color iris of eyes. Now add another layer and change its blending mode to multiply. And also reduce its opacity a little bit. Now it's time for placing shadows as light is hitting the face from right side. So we are going to place the shadows on left side of the face. Now I am going to manage shadows. I am going to raise the shadows from the parts which receive lights and also blend the sharp edge of shadows. Erase the extra smudge and then blend it again. Also erase shadow from the opposite side of eye and then blend its initial part. Now 
Now select soft airbrush eraser and then erase the shadows following the structure and planes of face. Now blend shadows from lower side of left cheek. Add shadows to the lower side of nose and also to left side of nose. And then blend this shadow. Now add sharp shadows of hairs using solid fill with a reduced opacity. And erase extra shadows if needed. Now add shadow more to left side, cast it by nose. Shape it up using eraser. Also add shadow to left side of lips. Now using slightly pinkish color, add this color to ear duct of eye and also to lower side of eye. Use eraser to shape it up. And then select blender and then blend this area for more natural look. Add another layer and change its blending mode to linear burn. Also reduce its opacity. Now add this pinkish color where shadows are placed. Erase extra pink color. Now select blender and blend this pink color and make it a little bit lighter. Also add this pinkish color on cheek area and then blend this color for more lively look. Add some to the tip of nose and blend it. Also to side of nose and then blend it. And to the side of lip. Now select concept pencil from pencils folder and then using the same color, color tear duct of eye and then adjust the size of blender and blend this color. Now erase areas from the left side which does not receive much dark shadows. And then blend these areas for securing the planes of eyes. Add dark color under the initial part of eyebrow and also to the lower part of eye. And then select blender and blend this dark color. Now add this dark color in the eye and then blend this color. Erase the dark color from the middle of eye and then blend it again. Also add a reddish color and then blend it for more natural look. Now using concept pencil, 
draw tear duct of left eye. Again, erase this part because it looks muddy to define it more. And also erase the lower lid. Blend it to make it a little bit darker. Add shadows to iris. Erase with concept pencil near eye duct to create a sense of lower eyelid. And also use this lighter color to draw eyelid. And use dark color to define it. Draw pupil of eyes using solid fill. And also add dark color to ear using soft airbrush and erase extras. Add shadow to neck and then erase it to shape it up. Now add a layer below sketch layer. Now add lighter color to lower side of iris and then blend this color to make it more reflective. Erase extra lighter color from pupil. Then make this color slightly darker and then add this color to second iris. Make this color slightly lighter and add highlight to right eye. Now make this color slightly darker and add highlight to left eye. Now using solid fill draw lighter strands of hair in accurate direction. Now using solid fill eraser, erase lighter strands of hair to create more defined and more sleek strands of hair. Now go to blender and select mostly water from watercolor folder. Increase the size of blender. Now use this blender on the edges of lighter strands of hairs. Soften out edges of lighter strands. Now pinch all layers with the two fingers and add a layer and arrange it below group of layers. We are going to create newspaper background. First create columns using line shape, then add dark pictures. After it, add bold headings and next to it add text aligned in columns. Now group all background layers and flatten the group. Now it becomes a single background layer. Now go to filters and apply blur filter. Apply it up to 15%. Now add a layer above background layer. Select dark color and using mostly water brush add shadows behind the character. 
and also add a little bit shadow over the newspaper. Also add shadows to the newspaper the character holding. Select lighter color and add this lighter color to the edges of newspaper using monoline. And you're done! Subscribe!